Hello driver, so today we have a 2006 Mitsubishi Outlander and today we're going to change the thermostat, okay? But before I change it, it's going to be a safety step before we do this, alright? So what you, what you got to do first, you, you got to jack up the vehicle first. You can use a Rhino or you can use a jack as what you see right now. Jack it up from the the crossbar in front of the vehicle okay for safety all right and then also you can use jack stand for safety and the important the i mean why i do this is because you want to drain the the coolant from the radiator first okay and always make sure the vehicle is not hot also bucket so it's pretty easy most vehicle have that butterfly hope you can see yeah that butterfly right there i gonna i gonna lose that and drain the, the coolant from the radiator itself and after i finish i just gonna close it back that's the first thing you gotta do before you change your thermostat okay and remember you gotta buy a cool um antifreeze to refill okay usually as I say, you're gonna drain it from the radiator, but the problem is that remember to have all the coolant drain faster from the radiator. Remember, you're gonna remove the cap from the radiator, okay? Okay, So you're going faster now, that's how you gotta do it. Remember to remove the cap from the radiator. Remember you gotta put back your screw on the radiator after you drain it, okay? Okay, so after you put back your, radi your radiator um, screw, just drop the vehicle and now we're gonna remove the thermostat. Okay, so basically, this is how it works. It open, right? When the coolant get hot, it open, and the coolant from the radiator go through, you know, flow. When this open, the coolant from the radiator flow through the engine, cool it down. Meanwhile, it cool it down, it close back. And as soon as the coolant in the engine get hot, it pass through the um, the water pump back to the radiator. Fan cool it down from the radiator. Radiator, same procedure. Come back here, open, cool on the engine. That's why sometimes when I say your you thermostat is stuck up, stuck closed. You gotta change it right away. Okay, except from a hose burst or nothing. Once you need to going up. Except, except from here, except the here in the system are bubbles, or the hose burst. If this stock open, you need to go up, engine overheat to hot H, okay? So that's why you gotta open. All right, you see if it's stock open, it's good. It's not as bad. It's just, it's just that stock open mean that your temperature, gonna, your temperature sensor gonna malfunction, okay? So usually to have a, a, a good thermostat, you want it to open and close, okay? Especially if, if, if it's a high mileage vehicle, usually drain your antifreeze and just change the thermostat, all right? So the first thing I'm gonna do right now is remove the air filter to get to the thermostat. filter see your filter I gotta change it Right 
okay sometimes it's on the top top holes but sometimes very tricky like this one have a top holes but that's not the so right here see the holes from the top the radiator to come down if you you, you got to be careful sometimes you think is a that's the um right here see it look like the radiator it look like the thermostat so what i always usually do research make sure the where exactly the thermostat is on your vehicle some vehicle is at the bottom you know so it depends on how the the water pump is set up and how the engine is set up okay so my thermostat is right here see this hose is coming from the bottom some thermostat hose from the coming from the top hose this thermostat coming from the bottom bottom hose very tricky okay so this is where it's at. So just gonna screw this screw off and take it from there. Need an extension. 10 millimeter. You gotta move the top screws. So what I usually do, usually when you move those top screws, it's best to remove the holes. Why? You want at least when you move the ready the, the thermostat screws now from the housing, you know you, you you can just take it right off. Okay. So you want to just make sure you give yourself enough play, you know. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the holes. Shift it a little bit. Okay. What I use already is not gonna you know, just take time to rack it out. If not, I'll just use a screwdriver. Put a little um lubricate on it for it to be easier. So if the hose is hard to come off, you see the screwdriver. What I do, you get a flat screwdriver and you just push it right between the hose and the hose in, okay. And you just play with it. So what I have to do, I have to spin it little by little. Okay, you see the reason why what happened is that when you move the hose, if there's no antifreeze draining, that means because you're already draining out from the radiator. So that's what one of the reasons why you have to drain the cool on from the radiator first okay 12 millimeter for the thermostat thermostat housing screw you only got two so you have one at the bottom just gotta feel it with your hand remove the screw so we're gonna take our time remove the housing the thermostat that I have don't come with a, a gasket, a rubber gasket. This one have a rubber gasket. So what I would do for safety, I would spray a lubricant inside the housing just to protect the gasket, you know. At least I could use back that gasket. Usually you're not supposed to use back, but at least you want to be safe, you know. That you're going to have some leftover coolant from the engine I would just set a bucket underneath the vehicle so this is what the housing look like okay thermostat uh, thermostat housing we're looking at the thermostat thermostat right now so what I gonna do I have to take my time to take out that okay and take off the gas gasket of that one so as i said this i have to spray a little aisle when i was removing it because i didn't want to break 
you know just to lubricate it so what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna remove this rubber gasket and put it on the new thermostat because I didn't get I, I, I take a chance I didn't get any gasket with that one usually you, they, they should, you should get a new one I would recommend you to when you get in the gas the, the, I mean the thermostat get a gasket gasket also okay so I'm gonna remove this slowly this can use back because I don't have no cracks around it okay so when you're removing a thermostat from a vehicle any vehicle always pay attention just like in you see how the thermostat the thermostat was facing this way coming out so always remember you don't want to make a mistake try to put it this way you know so remember it was this way okay so this is a new thermostat gonna remove the take my time to remove this so now remember put this back on the new one okay for safety okay if you don't put it back you're gonna have a leak you want to take your time put it back okay yeah it's not bad you just want to make sure press it Yeah, but as I say, I'm just taking a chance right now, but at least it's not cracked. But I would make sure you get a new one with your gas with your thermostat, okay? Okay. And now we're just gonna push it back as all well. we take it out. Once it going slowly, that is it. We're gonna take time put put back the housing. Now we're gonna put back our housing. What I'm doing right now, I tighten the top one a little bit, not too tight. Then I go to the, the bottom, tighten, tighten the same way as the top one, right? Just a little bit. Then you come back to the top, tighten just a little bit. Then you go back to the bottom, do the same thing. Okay, you want it. You don't want to over tighten one side too much. And that is it. Then we're gonna tighten the top screws now. So once you get the two screws on, remember you're gonna you're gonna put your once you get the hose your hose on, you put on your two screws on the top. Then now you're gonna you're gonna put your back your hose remember your hose okay so you know when you turn on the vehicle you know you're good so we're gonna put on back the hose right now you gotta watch the surrounding like right now there's a wire that disconnects so i gotta put back this where it belongs so always watch out when you're surrounding because it's a tight space and you have wires around it you want you don't want to really just put back the hose and you have a wire that disconnect and then cause your engine light to go off or something else okay put back our air filter all right so the last thing we're gonna do right now just remember to put your your your, your coolant and make sure you know it's a 50 50 and the same and it go go for the your, your the same car you got You just want to pour it and it will go all the way. Once it, once it full up, you could turn on the engine. You know the engine running. Just pour it. Because what happens is that whatever you lose from the engine, you're gonna be low. So you're gonna suck back most of it from the radiator. You know what I mean? So right now, that's filling up the radiator. But just remember to turn on the engine, then continue to fill it up, and then close it back before it get hot. You know? That's it. That, that that's it. Really, it's not hard. Just gotta take time out, patient. Just patient, really. Okay. The next important thing you want to you want to put some in the reservoir. Okay. That means just in case you overflow from the radiator, it come right. Actually, no. If you need more from, yes. If you need, if you forget to pour enough in the radiator, and you need more. You to suck the rest from here. 
Okay, so you, I would use like I use only three quarter of the reservoir for the coolant. You know what I mean? And that is it. Okay, so I three quarter that, and all you gotta do is just cover it up, and that's it. Turn on the vehicle, and you're good to go. So hopefully this video help. You know. And if you have any questions, you could put in the comment section. Let me know. And you know, if you like the video, share the video. And also, you can support the channel. All right. Thanks for watching.